What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So Easter is approaching, so I decided to share with you some of my favorite recipe that my family makes during Easter. And today I'm gonna show, show you how to make a savory recipe we're gonna stop with the dessert for a second, but we're gonna be back with dessert, so don't you worry. But this is so, so delicious. It's one of my favorite. It's called Torta Pasqualina. Basically, it's the translation, it's Easter spinach pie. It's a pie, has a ricotta and spinach filling, and also has eggs, and it's super, super delicious. But the best part, it's so easy, so, so easy. I'm gonna show you how to make the dough, how to make the filling, and we're gonna make everything from scratch, and your family gonna fall in love with this. And this type of pie, it's even better the day after when it's like cold, delicious. So first thing, so we gotta make the dough. So the ingredients that you're gonna need for the dough is flour, oil, salt, and water, warm water. These are the only ingredients that you're gonna need for the dough, super, super easy. In Italian, this type of dough is called pasta matta, or like kinda the translation, it's crazy dough. And you can use for a variety of different pies, you can change the filling however you like it, but this is the traditional one that we're making for Easter. So I'm gonna scoot you a little closer so you can see what I'm gonna do with my beautiful and lovely kitchen aid. <laughs> And first things you wanna do, you wanna pour your flour into your bowl. Then you're gonna add your salt, the oil, and while it's mixing, you're gonna add your warm water. You're done mixing all your ingredients together this is the result you're gonna cover your dough with plastic wrap and you're gonna place it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes in the meantime i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna make the filling all right guys in the meantime that my dough is resting in the fridge i'm gonna show you how i make the filling it's super simple but super delicious the ingredients that you're gonna need are onions and garlic spinach parmigiano cheese butter ricotta cheese, eggs, salt and pepper to taste. All the measurement and the ingredients I'm gonna be listed in the description box down below for the dough and for the filling, as well as all my Instagram page, Facebook page and TikTok, so don't forget to check it out. So what I usually use for spinach, I usually like to use the frozen one because it's easier. You take a package out of the freezer the night before, you let it thaw, and then before you cook it, you just squeeze the water out and that's the, the job is done. You don't have to go all fancy and buy the fresh one. The frozen one will save you a lot of time and also it's gonna taste fantastic. So we're gonna move to the stove because we gotta saute and season those spinach before we mix it with all the other ingredients. All right, you guys, first things you wanna do on the stove, you're gonna turn on high heat and you're gonna put your butter first and your chopped onion and two cloves of garlic. As you guys know, I'm not crazy about garlic. I only like the flavor they give to the recipe, so that's why I don't chop it. But if you love garlic, feel free to chop it and do as you please because food, we gotta make it the way we like it. So we're gonna saute these on medium heat until they're nice and tender. All right, once you get to this stage and your onion is started to looking a little bit translucent, it's time to add your spinach. Here, I already chopped them roughly, but you can also buy the one that are already chopped, which is even easier. And you're gonna kind of break it into the onion, mix it all together. And now it's time to adjust the seasoning. You're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of salt. And you're gonna cook it for a couple minutes. 
done saute your spinach you're gonna let it cool down fully and then it's time to add the rest of the ingredients so first things you gotta add after is the ricotta then you're gonna add your parmigiano cheese one of the eggs a little bit of a black pepper and a little bit of salt and you're gonna mix everything together all right you guys now that our filling is ready it's time to roll our dough and what we're gonna do we're gonna put a little bit of flour on our surface all right we're gonna flop our dough on the table and then we're gonna put a little bit more flour on top then as you can see I am gonna cut a quarter of the dough and place it on the side because this one is gonna be for the top of the pie and now with our hands we're gonna start to work our dough and then here I have a rolling pin and I'm gonna start to rolling my dough as thin as possible rolling your dough you're gonna grab your baking pan and you're gonna grease it with a little bit of a vegetable oil you're gonna grab your dough and you're gonna roll it over the tray and then with the your hand you're just gonna push the dough right into the tray Now it's time to add our filling. After that, you're gonna grab a metal spoon, a soup spoon. You're gonna dip it into the oil and you're gonna create a hole into your filling. You're gonna make four holes. in each hole you're gonna crack the eggs then it's time to cut the excess dough but you're gonna leave like a two centimeter because then we're gonna fold it over top all right you guys now it's time to cover the top part of the pie with the remaining dough and what you want to do now with the excess dough, you're going to combine the two and you're going to make a nice pattern all around the pie. And then lastly, you're going to make some hole and then you're gonna brush the surface with the remaining oil. All right, guys, my torta pascualina is gonna go in the oven now at 350 Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. After that, you have to let it cool down completely before you take it out of the pan. And then we're gonna be back for the best part, the taste test. you guys my pie is finally done I let it cool it down for a couple hours and make sure that it's nice and cold and look at the result it's so beautiful it smells delicious it looks fantastic and now it's time to cut the cake or the pie actually and see what it looks on the inside I have my butcher knife here and I'm gonna go right in and ta -da! Look how beautiful it looks like with the egg. You can really see the layers with the egg and it smells fantastic. I literally cook it for 45 minutes 
And as you can see also, the crust is super thin. It's just like the filling is gonna be so present. Now, the taste test. This one doesn't need no knife, no fork. You just eat it with your hands. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. This is fire. This is my mom recipe and I, she makes the best savory pie. Like she's a master. Like, thank you, mom. One more bite. Mmm. 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 So good. This is a perfect, I feel like I have a lot in my face. <laughs> This is a perfect appetizer for Easter. You can make it a couple days prior so you don't have to scramble all over the place. This one lasts for up to five to seven days as long as you keep it in a Ziploc bag, but it's not gonna last that long because your family is gonna devour it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with everybody that you know, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you're gonna follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Love you, bye, happy Easter.